So hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm out doing a bit of pike fishing uh, on the local river. Uh, the weather's been mild now for, uh, well this is the second week now, it's been really really mild. Uh, struggling to get above 20 degrees, good days like today. Cloudy overcast, rain forecast, we've had rain for the last three days. And I think it's probably safe enough to get out and do some pike fishing. Probably not on the still waters, but definitely on the local river anyway. So I'm out today and hopefully going to target some slightly bigger pike. I mean sure, my local river has lots of small jack pike in it. Um, but there is a chance of always if potentially a double and the canals before the heat wave only managed to give me little tiny weeny things so hopefully we'll get some bigger ones today we are fishing baits like this the mick hybrid from abu garcia perfect bait for these kind of waters where the, the uh, depth varies because obviously you've got the little hook hanger on the front there which is for shallow water and the one on top which makes it dive down a bit deeper so should be perfect today hopefully get a few fish out so started off at like the crack of dawn we're actually about an hour into the session now and I started off fishing an area which I fished a few times and we're going out to an area of the river where I haven't particularly fished a huge amount at all, ever, really. <laughs> Last year I never even came out this end of the river. Don't know what I'm going to find today. Hopefully get some big ones on the bank. Let's see. Now, I've actually only tried one swim up until now. Um, just scouting areas that look good and just got to this one. The pike's out from the edge, I mean, he's not very big at all. And he's spooked now, so I don't know if he'll take it. But, hey, this is second bit of action, there we go, he's coming. That was cool, I'm gonna get the big camera set up, try and get a slow-mo take on this guy. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> How cool is that? Only a wee guy. I'll have to get down to the water to land him. God damn it. Not really the sort of size I was wanting to catch today, although I don't really mind. I love pike. I'll just call the Mick Hybrid with the paddle tail on. Beautiful like Jack Pike. Airplane going over to ruin the audio. Thanks for that. We love fish. Like a rocket. Nice, perfect. Come on, gotta be a fish over there somewhere. Maybe not that cast, but there will be a fish over there somewhere. There we go. There we go. Fish on. Oh, it's a perch. It's a perch. On the big hybrid. I'm not gonna net it because we've got a loose hook there. What a fish. Look at that. <laughs> On the Mick Hybrid Pike Bait. What a fish. That's crazy, isn't it? He was well hooked. He wasn't coming off anyway. What a fish. Not set the big camera up. I just want to let him go. Beautiful fish. Not our intended species. Nice. Probably a. High 30s, 38 or something, 37. Well, this is a really nice looking area, and there's lots of footsteps, well, footprints down here in the dirt, just down here. Which tells me people have been down here fairly recently fishing, so, well, I'm assuming fishing. Yeah, they've got some nice, like, dark, deeper water down there. Perfect. That's what we're looking for because these fish are going to be hiding in the deeper areas since the weed's been cut and the water levels come down. There we go. Oh, we missed it. Let's come back. Once again, not a very big fish. Oh, he's flaring his gills. He must have felt the hooks. But he did come back for it, so Let's see if he'll take it. Yep. We got him. There we got him. Oh, come on. Did me off in the weed then. <laughs> that was always going to be a chance of him being right in the weed. See? Just flying yourself between swims can be a real payoff. I mean, I've, I've had contact in nearly every swim or seen something. Um, because I'm skipping out all the, the areas in between which are really shallow and don't look fishy. I'm just sticking to the areas where it's deeper and I can see bait fish. Right, so we're fishing for a little bit now. 
Really impressive how these pike are taking it so far really aggressively in this bait, which is really, really cool. I'm moving to a different area now. Some swims that I've never fished before, at least not in a very, very long time. So uh, before we do that, I'll quickly show you my setup. I'm fishing the Abu Garcia Beast Pro 30 to 90 gram jerk bait rod. Um, which I use for all my sort of medium heavy to heavy uh, pike fishing. Uh, loaded up with a Revo Beast X casting reel. Then that's 83 pound uh, Berkeley Sick Braid. So that new Berkeley Sick Braid on there that you'd have seen recently in one of my videos. Um, and then I'm fishing just a very easy to use bait, which is the Mick Hybrid, which you'll see me use a lot um, this recent winter that went past. Because obviously with this sort of water that I'm fishing, um, it can range from a foot deep or it can go down to about four foot or five foot deep and to avoid having to change baits all the time what you can do with this is you can fish the front hanger when you want to fish shallow areas because um, that will make it really shallow running in the water if you want to fish some of the deeper holes that may be three four five maybe even six foot deep put it on the top hanger there and it'll pull it down make it go down deeper that's what i've been using today and i thought i had most of my action on Getting a bit battered now, I've had loads of fish on this exact bait before. So I've got loads of scratches in it now. I'll see if we can get some more in it, eh? Get some more fish on the bank. So we'll get into areas now where I don't really fish, or very rarely. <clears throat> I think I spooked something there. Probably a chub. Um, it's a nice area. There's not that many fish, uh, but sometimes the ones that you find can be really nice. So I've said that caught jack pike. <laughs> Good timing. Hey, let's go another fish on. Get your head down. I know I'd moved something out there. I thought I'd spooked maybe a chub or something when it hit the water, but maybe it was this guy. Once again, the fish are not going to net just because the hooks are exposed on the outside of his mouth. It caused more damage. There we go. Now, that hook wasn't actually too bad getting out, but I did bring. Obviously, I found some injured fish recently or fish with extra hooks in their mouth. I've got some first aid spray with me. There we go, because that hook was just a little bit knotted there. Let's let him go. For the record, he's just forgotten that I'm not holding him now. The fish is perfectly fine. See you later, buddy. Hey, there he goes. <laughs> Catch you later. going to be assuming that I have the potential to have a big pike in it. I think it would be this one. I've just seen a barb that was probably a double figure fish just a few yards to my right. Which is obviously an indication that some larger bait fish down, well larger prey fish down here for these pike. And we've got a great big snag and a great big slack water behind it. Now it's really shallow, um, the slack water, but the pike, okay. I would put money on it that there is a, a good sized pike underneath that snag. Problem is, it needs to be able to come out and take the bait and if that thing is i mean that comes out probably about 10 15 foot um if the pike is sat right up against the far bank under the snag he's, he's almost never going to be able to see the bait so we'll have a few casts over there and hopefully there's a pike near to the front of the snag that might be able to see my bait as i'm casting around but we'll have a few casts around in this area anyway because to me it looks absolutely perfect for a, for a good fish that's what I'm after. Looks spot on. Let's try on the slack quarter. It's only shallow, but you never know. There we go. Oh, that was a good sized pike. Or oh, better than the ones I've caught already anyway. Oh, I knew it. It came out from the tree and blew it up. So cool. Don't know if he felt the hooks. I don't think so.
damn it. There's probably fish getting up to double figures anyway. I'm not sure quite how big it was. It might not have been that big. It might have been like a five pound. <laughs> I'm not sure, but see, we're going at some speed, but it definitely looked, it looked decent anyway. To me, I look like it could have been a double figure fish or just under anyway. Maybe an eight There we go. It come back and I missed it again. I had to miss it twice. Damn it. I don't think I'm going to have another chance at that fish now. As soon as I got to a swimwear, I could almost guarantee there'd be better fish. I'm going to miss my chances twice, but I think he had weed on my hook both times. There we go. We got him. We got him. Yeah, third time lucky. Well, it's not quite as big as I initially thought, but still much better fish than the ones I've caught so far. If it's the same fish. Oh, yeah, it's, it's not very big at all. Damn it. He looked like a beast exploding out from the tree. I think it's because the fish I've caught so far have only been like maybe a couple of pound a piece. So uh, <laughs> compared to this thing, they this thing looked massive. Yeah, we've got him out. Let's land this guy. Slightly bigger. Oh, we landed him. Not as big as I thought he was when he, uh, he first struck at the bait. Got both hooks nailed in his mouth. I absolutely crushed it that time. Probably a fish of know, five or six pound. Well, I was hoping for a decent fish in this swim. Well, I've got one bigger than the ones I've caught so far, but not quite as big as I thought it was when I first uh, he first went for me bait. Absolutely slam dunked it. Look at that. Crush that bait. Mick hybrid. There we go. Teased it out there. Beautiful pike. No monster. Probably about five pound. I thought it was going to be a, a double when he first smashed you, but I think it's because so far I've only been catching two pounders or having two pounders. It's this one looked like a monster shooting out from the tree. Now let's get him back straight away. Don't want to keep him out too long. Awesome bit of fishing. He should be ready and raring to go. He's hardly been out of the water. Oh, there he goes. Ooh, catch you later. Now, I know I've just caught a fish from this swim. But, I don't know, someone's just telling me maybe that was a different fish to the first one that had a go at it. But I don't know. Might as well have a few more casts around there, just in case. Just to make sure there's another one down there. There we go! That was, that was a big bike. That might have been the first one that hit it. That was a double and I missed my chance. He slammed into it and slacklined me. God damn it, he was a nice fish. I knew that to be a big one down here. I could have been that first one that went for it. I had a feeling like a bigger fish hit it the first time. Lo and behold, let the pike go have a couple of casts and a big one turns up. Hits my bait and I don't get hooked up. Well, I think that pretty much brings us to the end of our session. I'm stung up by nettles. I've fallen over. I've hit my knee. <laughs> I'm soaked wet through now. But I've enjoyed myself, and that's the main thing. Um, I've caught well, probably three or four pike. Missed probably three or four pike. Unfortunately, I missed a good size one. For this river, a, a good size fish, a big fish, is anything that into double figures, really. And a fish that I had three takes from, it was easily probably a fish of maybe 13 or 14 pounds. Um, I would have really made this session. I just couldn't quite catch it, but I've really enjoyed myself anyway. I'll definitely come back out for that one. In fact, I'm going to be filming an underwater pike fishing video soon where pike, with pike slamming into small live baits. And I might bring them up here and try and get that big one to smash into some live. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it, to see underwater? Anyway, if you want to check out the gear that I've used today, rod, reel, braid, bait, everything that I've used today, leave it all in the description below like I normally do. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the video. Like it if you liked it too, and I'll catch you guys later.